Hi everyone. I've been doing some thinking and <laughs> surprise. <laughs> and I think that it might be better for me to declutter in categories rather than just random items that I'm decluttering, you know, just throwing like makeup and clothes and shoes and whatever. Throwing that kind of stuff together, I think I'm going to be category specific unless it really is just a random mix. And so I've made a list of things that I want to go through and declutter and today I'm going to do a video on sunscreen and products that kind of belong in that category. I have this banana boat aloe, um, soothecane aloe mist and it's good for after you've been in the sun. Well this product has a date of January 2012. I think I bought this in 2010 and I don't typically burn easily. Um, I might get a little pink and then it turns into a tan. But I bought this when I was going to a family reunion and we were going to be out on the lake and having fun. And We were staying in a gigantic house and I left it on the kitchen counter with a note <laughs> that said, please use. Because people would see it there, nobody wanted to touch it. And people were getting burned and then they were like in pain. And I think I also had a sunscreen that was a spray on. Um, but anyhow, that's a long story. I don't want this. This has to go. And it's expired. And I'm not one that really worries about expiration dates, and here's an example of that. I have this Suntanicals. This is also by Banana Boat. This is only an SPF 8. It's waterproof. It doesn't have a date, but um, I know that it hasn't been made for a really long time, and it was discontinued, and people are going crazy trying to find it on eBay. And I'm going to hold on to this, not because people are going crazy about it, but just because it still works as a moisturizer and I think that I can use it. So I'm going to hold on to that one. Uh, let's see, next I'm going to show you this, this L'Oreal Sublime Glow. And this one, as you can see, as I almost drop it, <laughs> this is almost empty. I can't really tell. There's maybe this much in there at the most. Maybe there's only like this much in there. Um, this is in Fair Skin Tones and I don't know if this is expired but I figured just like the other one I'm just gonna hold on to it and I'll use it up as a lotion. I don't know if that stuff even works but hey why not. Okay I have three of these brush on mineral sunscreens. These here and one, two of them are Peter Thomas Roth SPF 30. I bought both of these at Sephora. This other one, I'm not sure where I purchased it. Um, it says Brush on Block SPF 30. And you, well, you brush it on. And <laughs> they can be kind of messy. I like to keep these in my car um, so that when I'm driving, I can brush it on my hands or on my forehead if I have the sunroof open. And these have a date of March 2014, and like I said, I'm not real big on expiration dates. Even with some food items, I'll go a little bit over. Kind of depends. And I figure, powder, really, how is it going to go bad? You know, they're just required to put a date on there, so I'm okay with that. And this one is also March 2014, and I'm going to hold on to all three of these. I am. The next product I have is from a company that used to be called Mexitan and now it's called Tropical Sands. I have all of these products from them. Um, and the reason that I have so many is because in 2012 I went on vacation to Cancun, Mexico. And I had done some reading online before I went on what I needed, you know, what kind of tips I could get for a visitor. And one of the things was biodegradable sunscreen. And I'm going, why would I need biodegradable sunscreen? Where do I get this stuff? Well, I found it online and that's how I ended up with so much. So the reason that you need biodegradable sunscreen is because when you use regular, regular sunscreen, um, you, you go into the water and the lotion and the oil is washing off of you and it's getting into the system, into the water, and it's destroying the ecosystem. So slowly, by people not following those rules, they're destroying the ecosystem. And I'm going to any place like that. You know, if you're gonna be in the ocean, 
you might want to check beforehand to see if you need something like this. Um, and they will check on it too. A little tour, we took a bus and it took us down to Tulum, which was amazing. It was so gorgeous. And then we went down to Shell Ha, which is kind of a, a resort type of a place. And you can do snorkeling and things there. While we were in Shell Ha, I think I asked a question, you know, like, where are the lockers? And the employee that I asked, he asked me if I had sunscreen, and I told him I did, and he said, can I see it? And I pulled out my bottle. He saw right on the bottom, right there, it says biodegradable. It seems if you go there and you don't have this biodegradable sunscreen, you can buy it there, but it's going to cost you a lot more. Save some money. Oh, and also, since I'm talking about this, another tip would be take um, a waterproof camera either disposable or if you have one that isn't. You know, you can buy them down there. I think they were like 20 or $30 or something for one disposable um, waterproof camera. So there's a little side tip. So anyway, back to the sunscreen. <laughs> I bought all of these and they kind of leave, like I would have used them here, but they, they sit on the surface of your skin. They don't get absorbed into your skin like regular sunscreen, like what we're used to. Some people don't like to use regular sunscreen because it contains chemicals and it gets into your body. So this doesn't do that because it's all natural. It's white. It, um, it just, it kind of turns you white. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And so you can't, you can't rub it in. You have to put it on and you just leave it. So you do kind of a thin layer and we all kind of ended up turning white. It, it does block the sun. It works. Gosh, I feel like I'm just rambling. I can't get this out right. So this one actually says June of 2014. This one says April of 2014. This little one doesn't say anything. And this stick doesn't say anything either, but it smells the way it did when I bought it, but I don't like the scent. So I think, um, well, I'm going to get rid of it. So I am actually getting rid of these four right here. Okay. Um, and then I have this one. This is a sunless tanning spray. And the expiration date on this one is November of 2014, so that's just last month. Even if it wasn't, I would still give it a shot. It's pretty full. It's actually up to here. <laughs> so I'm going to try it just for the heck of it and see if it actually works. And so I'll hold on to that just for a bit. Um, if I don't like it, I'll get rid of it later. Later, keyword. <laughs> Now I have this one, which is made by Jason. This is SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen. So this one doesn't have any of those funky things. It has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And this one is good. The date on this one is April of 2016. So I am going to hold on to this one. I don't even know what this smells like. It Actually, what's funny is this one smells a lot like this stick. But since it's still good, I'm going to hold on to it and I'll try to use it up um, next summer, 2015. And now I'm down to the very end. So I have this Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch and seriously this one is down to the very, very bottom. And I've been working on using this one up. I don't think this one has an expiration date. I've been working on it. I just put it on my arms, across my chest, like on my neck. And, and that's it. That's the only place I use it. I just figured I would use it up. It smells real good. It doesn't have any shimmery anything. It's just sunscreen. So I'm using that one. Not going to get rid of it. This one here is not a sunscreen, but it smells really good. And it has the coolest shimmery, um, shimmery shimmer. <laughs> uh, you can't see it in this light, so I can't show you and it smells really good. It smells like a vacation. It smells like, well, like sunscreen stuff. And there's about this much in there. I'm going to, well, it's coconut papaya. 
I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to use it for the shimmer. And then the last three that I have are all the same. These are all Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect with SPF 20 and they smell like, I think they smell like this other one, like the green one. Very similar and they, I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff guys. This is so just, I love it. It's shimmery and it smells good and it's so hard to find. I had wondered if they stopped making it. I know that they made it in different SPF levels and I think they have some in 40. I might have a bottle of that. I thought I had a bottle of it. Maybe it was this one that's a 20. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of these because I love the shimmery and they're great for summer. Put them like on your arms, across your chest, on your legs, wherever. They just, they're so cool. And this one's like a little handy one you can carry in your car or something. So that is what I have. Now, I, just for the record, <laughs> I'm not getting rid of a whole lot, am I? I'm keeping. keeping these 12 products and I'm getting rid of five products so it's not a whole lot it's not almost a third um, but this one like I said is almost empty this one is almost empty and this one I'm just gonna try and see how it works out see if it actually makes me look tan not that I really care. Do, do I even need it right now? It's December. <laughs> I don't think I need it. But I'm going to try it out anyway. And that's it. That's what I have for you guys today. So be sure to like if you like it, comment, and subscribe if you want to see me go through the rest of my declutter process. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! What one did I just put over there? Oh, this one. Okay.